My name is Cora and welcome to Craftopia, where we are creating a safe space for artists and crafters of all ages and experience levels to learn, create, explore, and grow. I'd like to invite you to check out our website at www.craftopiawa.com where you can learn more about our organization and vision and see a list of upcoming classes. You can also follow us on social media at Craftopia Walk. Now, pull up a chair, get comfortable, and let's get crafty. Hello friends. Today we're gonna to be making a fun little jellyfish. Uh, so you should have everything you need in your kit. You're certainly welcome to add some extra colors if you have colored pencils, crayons, anything along like that uh, to give your jellyfish a little bit more flavor. Uh, so we are using this half of a paper plate for our jellyfish. You can use either side. It really depends on how you want it to look like. It does have quite a bit of a curve, so it's just a matter of if you want the curve going back, you want the curve going front. If you plan on hanging this on a wall, I would probably recommend the curve coming forward so you have a flatter surface to put on a wall. Uh, but if you decide you want to hang it from the ceiling or something, it really won't matter which way is which. So... We're going to start by attaching our yarn. You should have seven strings of yarn, one for each hole in your jellyfish. Now the way I like to attach my yarn is by folding it in half so that I have this little loop here. I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to stick it through one of my holes. If you pinch it close, it should pop right through without much fuss. Now before I pull it all the way through, I'm actually going to open my loop and then tuck my tails through and pull tight and your jellyfish tentacles should be attached. You're also welcome to just stick one piece through and then tie it wherever you would like. Um, you can tie it so that it's extra long. You could pull it all the way through and tie it up here. So you do have plenty of options as far as how you attach them. I'm going to go ahead and loop all of mine through in just kind of a random order. I don't know. Have a pretty colorful jellyfish so I am not too concerned about what order my little pieces go in. I just don't want two right next to each other. That's really my only worry. Each of your yarn pieces should be a different color. Mine are not. Um, because when I went back to make yarn for me, I could not find my yellow or my orange. So I ended up with a little extra pink and purple today. And that's okay. We just have a very warm tone jellyfish going on here, which is not surprising considering it is very warm outside. Let's see, I want this one all the way over here. And last but not least, if you want your jellyfish tentacles to be shorter, you could always cut them in half as well and then do two different colors into each hole. Uh, so you can really kind of play and experiment and make him look the way you want and all right so i'm assuming i'm probably going to stick mine up on a, my window so i'm going to go ahead and again make the side curves towards me my front i'm going to take this these silly little white things these are actually double-sided adhesive dots so there should be two dots in there and i'm just going to pop one out all the way and it's going to be really sticky on this side and that's what i'm going to use to put my eyeballs on so we're going to stick that little dot right on the back of my eyeball and then there's a piece of paper on this side as well that I am going to peel off and then I want his eyes kind of low but slightly spaced apart. So there's one. Yeah, that looks nice. And let's grab our other dot. Ooh, this one's being very difficult to get out. There we go. There's my other one. Peel the paper off the back of that. And let's see. I want it right there. And like I said, now if you wanted to add a little extra color to your jellyfish, you certainly could. But otherwise, you are all set. And you have a fun, yarny jellyfish friend to help get you through the day. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see what you create. We hope you had a good time crafting with us today. If you have any questions regarding this project, feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email at info at craftopiawa.com. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future crafty goodness. Until next time.